Hello everybody, this is a video on upgrading a item on the CZ Scorpion carbine. As you all have noticed, those of you who have the CZ Scorpion, the charging handle is relatively short. It is roughly a little around a three quarters of an inch, roughly, and barely enough to get your finger up on. Today we'll be installing a charging handle from Manticore Arms. It was in, they have a oversized charging handle and then they have what's called the switchback charging handle. And we will be installing the switchback charging handle. The nice thing about this charging handle here is there's detents that are inside see that little indentation right there and what that does is that will hold this handle in the upright position or the out folded out position so as you can see this really extends the charging handle length than the original things we will need for this install will be a punch what you want to do is find something that'll match up to this hole or this piece of plastic because we have to punch this plastic out from the right side out to the left and then to do that I have a small brass mallet and of course the handle and this should work with any install of any aftermarket charging handle Okay, after the punch is going through, you can see the other pin starting to move. Remove the punch. Rotate the firearm onto its side so it can show you. There's a pin. This is the retention pin that actually holds the charging handle in from going too forward. Just give it a slight wiggle and it'll pull straight out. As you can see, there's a little cut out there and then there's a little fin. That little fin will be reinstalled to the in will that little fin will be facing the rear of the firearm when it gets reinstalled. So it will be reinstalled back into the left side on the way towards the right. Now, the charging handle that's in here already, you will notice will only go forward so far. And that is because there is a small, I'm doing all this with my cell phone, so bear with me. There is a small little spring at the very end. So the punch that we use to push out the pin will also be used to depress this little spring. So inside of the hole, it will be basically, if this focuses, maybe there we go it'll be depressing that little spring so this can slide out of the hole so just put your punch into the hole bring your charging handle forward as far as it'll go it'll stop and then as you're lightly pressing in with the punch take your other hand and lightly try to move the charging handle out you shouldn't have to press very hard and then you'll you'll once you feel the charging handle go forward then you can remove the punch okay i felt it press in whoops press in and then the charging handle moved forward about a quarter inch so i'm going to pull my punch out take my charging handle and move it completely forward out of the firearm and as you can see you can see there's a huge difference between the two. Here, let me set them up on top of each other if I can get a good enough shot doing all this with one hand, as I said. So you can see there's kind of a large difference. And the nice thing about this charging handle is when it folds out of the way, it sticks out just as far as the original. 
So if you're worried about an oversized charging handle not clearing your rifle case, this would be a good option to go with. Or if you have bare paws like I do, this is another awesome reason to get one of these switchback charging handles. Okay, on the side of the firearm, towards the front, you will see the groove. The groove where the old one came out, you will put this with the little nipple end back, spring in in front, slide it through the little hole. This will go in and guide it in. It'll slide back to a certain point where you'll have you'll find tension. Do not force this. You will bend your spring and have to replace the spring on the charging handle. What you will need to do is have it so it's it's back as far as it'll go without any pressure applied against it. You don't want to force it like I said. Take your punch and just do the opposite of the taking out. Stick it through the hole. You'll feel the little spring. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand. If I can, press this in. Press the charging handle back. Hold on, I cannot do this with one hand. Let me pause it and I will get back to you. Okay, my applying pressure inward and pulling the charging handle back slightly. Once you feel the spring compress, you should be able to pull this back and it should just click right past that. And then your punch, of course, will go straight through because there's nothing blocking that hole now because the hole goes straight through. You can put this charging handle on either side. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna put the original left hand charger onto the right hand. So I will have charging handles on both sides. Same thing, there is a small groove on this side. You do not have to do this if you don't want, or you can even order two of the switchback charging handles. But I'm operating a camera with one hand, so you can tell I don't have those financial means to do that. Though one day I hope to. Same thing, this will go back only so far. We have to go to this side of the weapon. We need to push the spring that's on the charging handle rod this way and oops and possibly all right okay that one went through cool okay so we can now both charging handles are in place all the way back we will replace our pin that we took out originally remember the fin will have to go towards the rear so we will put this up in here Sorry for this lighting being so bad. There we go. This will go to the rear of the firearm. So it's pressed in. And just tap it into place. Okay, until it's flush. Don't need to hammer it super home super hard it'll go in and you'll see it sticking out the other side now we've got charging on both sides and this handle like I said flops up out of the way and this is what it will look like If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Support the Second Amendment and love America.